Well, there's no point in waiting any longer, so let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Haven't done this in a bit, have we? A wild cycler? Cycler? <laughs> Sorry. Jal Blue J nineteen. Hello, hello. The chat the chat widget Oh, oh, it's because the chat wasn't visible. That would explain it. I was like the chat isn't popping up on the on the stream. Why is that? Al Jones, Apollo's Imagination. Hello, hello. There we go. Now it's popping up. Ryan, hello. Ah, well. That got a timeout. Whoa, I didn't know that's what happened when you do a timeout. Holy crap. <laughs> hello, and Alvaro, hello. Thank you, Al Jones. I appreciate that. So, uh, we're, I'm just here to kind of hang out. I'm not doing anything super special today. I just wanted to, uh, play some Civ like I was already planning on doing. And, uh, Jesus, hello. Let me see if I can tilt my monitor here. Um, not getting any game audio. I already wasn't. Let's see if I can pull up my audio here. Sorry, there's some. Uh... How am I doing? My day is doing okay. <laughs> Almost never happens that I get your name right, huh? Is that me or just people in general? Well, I'm sorry either way. You've been around for a while, Alvaro. You're, you've, been, you've been here for quite a while. Long-time fan. Uh, or long-time member of the community, I don't want to... The, the word fan makes me a little uncomfortable. Um, my day's been okay. Had a good start to the day. And volume mixer, here we go. Usually I play with the volume muted. For Civ. Um, okay. There we go. No. Oh, there it is. There we go. Now you can hear the... Oh. <laughs> Problem is every time I click away from the game, it takes away the audio. There we go. That's what the flickering is and all of that. Every time I click away from the game, it... Uh, um, or to another window, it does that. Usually I'm watching like a, a show or something. I've been watching like uh, shows that I used to watch when I was young, trying to catch up on them. Thank you. People in general usually go by Alan to make stuff easier when I go to a restaurant. I understand that. Not specifically, in your, I, I'm trying to sympathize. I, uh, um, ever since I transitioned my name to Vivian, um, I'm not the most outwardly presenting feminine person. So... Uh, I get a lot more confusion than I did before when my I just went with my my typical my uh, birth name I should say. Hey, Ryan! Thank you for the follow. I used to play in this game with all the sound effects. It's very fancy with all these whooshes and stuff. Good evening, Samuel Wright. Hello. Hello. I'm at the end stage of this game where uh, everyone's pissed off at me because I've started to uh, conquer other civilizations. Which is in sharp contrast to how I played the rest of the game where I was everyone's friend. 
And so they would leave me the fuck alone so I could build up my army so I could later conquer all their civilizations. It's a strategy. Happens to work. Uh, where can I send this builder? Uh, let's send you down here. There's a lot of shit that needs to be fixed. People don't know how to use this, use their maps correctly. And then when I conquer them, I have to rebuild all their shit. This game is called Sid Meier's Civilization VI. I rather enjoy it. Uh, let's send you... Ooh, my chocolate is on fire. No! Is it still burning? Uh, no, it's just pillaged. Okay. When it's on fire, I can't go fix it. Been a while since I got to see one of the streams. Uh, yeah, I don't stream very often. I haven't, uh, I was worried about doing this stream in general because, um, uh, I've been kind of sick lately. Ooh, look at the strand of hair going all crazy. There we go. Because um, I've been sick lately. So I don't know how long I'll be streaming uh, today. Uh, you could probably hear my throat is a little uh, a little fried. But uh, I'm trying to give it a little bit of a... A little bit of a workout, not that too much. Have you tried going with a nickname based off of Vivian? Yeah, I go with like Viv, V, Vi, you know, a whole bunch of various stuffs. Uh, let's send you down here. Send you down to the Alamo. And send you to Emporia. I'm playing as Teddy Roosevelt, and so their default thing when they make cities is that they're a bunch of American cities. Um, hey, welcome back. Um, you gonna be more careful with the things you say? I hope so. But, um, oh, have a nice flight. What? Uh, you need to go. Uh, thank you for everything and do have an awesome night, my good human, and have a nice flight. <laughs> well. Have a nice night to you. I <laughs> have a good rest of your existence, uh, wherever and however you spend it. <laughs> but, um, I, um, uh, but yeah, Teddy Roosevelt, they, uh, all the cities are American cities, but eventually they run out of default American cities. And so I just sort of substitute in other American cities that I know. <laughs> so you get way less known cities 3 37 a.m oh is that where what it is for you i am i am well behind you <laughs> holy shit vivian hey pro gamer hey it's been a long time yes it has basically on a break from all social media and technology in general for however oh wow uh, and technology in general, for however long it's been so far, stopped keeping track, it helped me mental state, yeah, I imagine. How mental health so much? Oh, geez. Oh, there's a lot to keep track of. Uh, let me pull up. Uh, sorry, the music. Mental health so much. It helped your mental health so much. Um, so, I uh, was literally catching up with some of the videos just now. So much new stuff. It's going to take ages, but I can't wait. Missed watching. Aw, Nice. Missed watching me so much. Uh, like there's Echo again, which terrifies. <laughs> yes. Plus Haruki Route and Tennis Ace. Uh, just got released for patrons. Yeah. Not looking forward to that myself. But I hope yeah, if you are, that's cool. Anyways, I know this is so out of nowhere, but unfortunately I can't stick uh, around on the stream since it's already so late for me. But I'm so, so, so glad that I was able to stop by and say hi after so long. I did really miss you and the channel. Also, sorry for the novel. Well, I'm really glad uh, that uh, the break from social media was helping you out so much. I'm glad you got to say hi too. Hello back as well. And uh, have a wonderful night. No problem about the novel. I'm glad to hear from you as well. That was so cool. Yay. <laughs> 
have a wonderful evening or night or whenever you said it was late for you to be night or uh, whatever time of day Uh, some people sleep during the day so you know whatever time it is for you it is late so enjoy the rest you have earned it (laughs) for me it's uh 9 39 p.m but unfortunately i've been uh uh waking up a little later than i would like to be so um what's this i got a comment what is this? A comment from Bacon Sings. It says, how the hell do you have a cool mom rather than my mom? On an episode of Temptations Ballad that I doubt I was talking about my mom, so I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. But thank you for the comment. Bacon Sings. Uh, I enjoy your bacon. Badung. Um, I hope the game screen isn't too small that you can't actually read anything. Um send you to Helvetia, based on Helvetia, West Virginia. Very, very small town in West Virginia. Um, My great-grandfather spent time there growing up. I don't know if he spent the uh, whole time there growing up. Um, But uh, it was at least I spent time there. Bismarck. Trading route to Bismarck, North Dakota. Very nice. Uh, we've got you surrounded, big boy. So, skip, uh, skip turn. 340 in the UK, hey! Good old time in the UK. Actually, it's a pretty turbulent time in the UK right now, isn't it? I don't know too much about uh, UK politics, but uh, I'm always glad to see conservatives getting uh, their shit handed to them. So, sorry about that. Nah, nah, I'm not really. Why did? Why would I say something I genuinely believe in? They then say sorry about that. But uh, I am genuinely sorry that whenever people feel instability or anything like that, I don't like people feeling scared. I'm not saying you feel scared. I'm just saying like I went through my own form of political turbulence here at home. Uh, and it's still politically turbulent, but nowhere near as bad as it was under the previous administration. And God, I'm glad that shit's over and I do not want it to come back. So, uh, I can only imagine what it's like to have gone through thus many prime ministers as you have gone through. Um, the Scottish prime minister, really impressive to me. Um, Yes, Pro Gamer, thank you so much for the kind words. I hope you have an amazing evening. I hope so too, and I hope so for you as well. Let's get rid of these solar panels and make a farm. Not because I'm against solar panels, but just because uh, my citizens need food, and they already have energy. It's one thirty there. RIP your sleeping schedule. Oh, man. <laughs> Did I say one thirty? I meant one forty. And if I said one forty, good. So, New York, um, actually, you're kind of in the middle of everything. Let's get down here to the new cities under my command. Send you to Newport. Got another plane. Mm. Got a lot of planes on this front. Let's, uh, there's a lot of planes here. Um... All right, let's start stocking up on the uh, airports. Oof, not a lot of airports here. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, you're good. You go to sleep. Hey, you. Ooh, I can attack something? Oh, well, I'm not going to do that yet. No need to go to war with you yet if I can avoid it. Uh... You're good. Alvaro. Plan on leaving Florida once I finish school. I am currently studying to be a history teacher and want to move somewhere up north. I hate Florida weather. I can understand that. I once spent a summer in Florida visiting my great-grandfather, the same one I was talking about that uh, used to live in Helvetia, West Virginia. We visited in the summer of 2011, and that sucked ass. So, uh... 
I, I, I can imagine. Also, history teacher, very fun. I love learning about history, and uh, that seems like a very fun and interesting career choice. Good game. What is it called? This game is called Sid Meier's Civilization VI. Also a fun game for any uh, history buff. Mind you, it's not very historically accurate, uh, but it it has fun little things for history fans. Samuel Wright, sending a donation through Cash App, since I don't know if YouTube takes a cut of chat demos. They do. Lovely seeing you again, and thank you for all you do. Thank you very much. My Cash App is uh, Vivian Jade Mo. Thank you very much for that. Oh, goodness gracious. My, uh, I hate that my game does that flickering in and out thing. Samuel Fisher. History is cool. I miss doing living history of 1800s. Living history of 1800s. I don't know what that means. Doing living history of 1800s. Was that the like the title of of a class? Whoa! Samuel! Holy cow! Thank you very much! I don't know if you want me to say what you sent, but but thank you! Uh Wow! Woohoo! Um that is very helpful right now. Uh, wow. Uh, um, good, good Lord. Uh, <laughs> that that is uh, extremely very very helpful. Uh, Whew. That was very, very much appreciated. Uh, we were kind of in the middle of some money troubles at the moment, so uh, that that was much, much, much appreciated there. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Okay, yeah, let's remove that. Find your passion for tutoring and teaching your senior year of high school. Want to see if you can travel to Europe to teach English for a year through a program for the Department of State. They'll prepare you for knowing the language, finding shelter, and even give you a stipend while you're there. Nice! I, I found a... Uh, there is a, uh, a YouTube channel I found from... Um, can we get uh, a boost through the chat to get some of this uh, garbage off the... From... <laughs> From this troll off of this here. Uh, there we go. Off the screen of the stream. But for Alvaro, uh, that's very interesting. I uh, There's a YouTube channel called Abroad in Japan that... Uh, uh, wow. Wow.
Um, but yeah, abroad in Japan, he originally went to Japan as a English tutor and he did it through like the, uh, he was from Britain and he went there, uh, through a government sponsored program to be, um, a tutor. And now he's there as a, uh, as a social media person. Eh, they're just looking for attention. And I'd rather not give them any. So we move on. Uh, do, do, do. Looking for another airport. I got a lot of planes over here, though. I need to focus my planes on the other side. Oh, hey, another one. Must have an alternate account. Let me... Ah. There we go. Hate speech. There we go. All right, let's find another airport. Uh, Got to move it over there. And then... On the next turn, it'll get it all the way over to the other side. See, the problem is, is eventually... Oh, you're good, Wild. It's totally okay. It, money is tight across the board right now. It's totally fine. Thing like camping and doing daily life of uh, later Ren fare through industrial... Oh, that sounds really cool. Definitely a very educational experience. Would make one appreciate the uh, the finer things in life. I was thinking about that the other day. It was like people often romanticize the idea of like going back in the, uh, time traveling, or whatever. It's like one of the things that uh, man, a lot of alternate accounts this one has. Um, the um, The uh, um, one of the things that you would miss ultimately about going back in time is like the ability to just like have a shower, you know, <laughs> because like basic plumbing and quality food. And quality clean water and stuff. That shit like didn't like you were, we were still fighting for that for like very recently. And like I was watch I've been watching shows from like the seventies and eighties, and they've been they were talking about how how bad smog was, and like we still have smog problems, but like. It used to be way worse very recently. So imagine how bad it was during things like the Industrial Age when it was just at the beginning of that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, bathing in an icy river, I could imagine. Thank you, Peter. I once did um, cold weather camping when I was young. They said that they wanted to do camping, and I was uh, eager to be a part of uh, a friend activity. And uh, for some reason, I didn't put it together that it was below freezing and uh, it wasn't going to be a part of an indoor thing. They just got us all on a hay bale ride, took us out in the middle of a fucking field, and we're like, all right, hope you brought your fucking... Uh, <laughs> hope you brought stuff to bundle up with. Hello, one-man cast. Smog mainly an issue in the U.S. and the West Coast thing. Uh, smog 
smog's kind of a, a bigger problem in general. Um, Top Gear. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hi. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And hi, Harley Bryant. Been playing Civilization Revolution 2. Nice. I played Civ Civilization Revolution on Xbox 360 a while ago. That was, I, It's the only one, Revolution game I, one I've played. So we were playing. Uh, so I stopped by. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Ah, Peter, you're so, so, so clever with the gotcha moment, aren't you? You're so clever. Well, fuck off with that. All right. Yeah, I had a feeling when I saw that one. Anyway, we continue on. I'm not much of a camper myself, but you know what? If you want to do it, I hope you'll get the chance to. I'm glad you got a chance to stop by. Thank you. Revolution 2 is on, only on Vita. Wow. That call that is exclusive. Uh, fun story. While looking for Steins Gate, uh, a Steins Gate VN song while playing Civ 2 Rev, found this stream in the recommended. Wow. Thanks. That I don't think I've ever been recommended. No. <laughs> I'm always surprised when I get recommended on stuff. <laughs> but that's cool. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. Very pleased that we had an iron two dog stove. Iron and and what? I, what? I was very pleased that we had a had a an iron two dog stove that we. Oh, okay. Camp next to in a pond, New Hampshire, in December to help cut ice for an upcoming spring event. Oh, nice. Wild sir, yeah. That <laughs> that is a <laughs> that is a bit of a uh, a a. Uh, that is a curved river, to say the least. Yeah. Oh, we're way over here now. Here we go. Here we go. Do to do, do 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 do. Mm. Um. Okay. Yeah, uh, six's main difference between, huh? Oh, you're good, Sam. Samuel, oh, sorry. I don't know if you prefer Sam or Samuel. Six and five visually looks very similar. The, may, the big difference is the districts, the district system. Uh, where, where, what is the thing I was doing? Ah, whatever. I'll come back to it. Wow. The alt account's on this one. Sorry about the sound keep, uh, sound keeping to break out. I have to keep scrolling, going back from the game to this, to the chat thing to keep going after this schmuck oh damn they want attention i just gave it to them what are you gonna do why well, sure god though my map looks crazy yeah i did a a giant map ah oh, i get you my stuff's recommended to you too well that's great i'm glad to hear it <laughs> um let me see if i can uh Oh, jeez. Oh, God, I hate this. All right. Uh, <laughs> screw that. Uh, I did the... You can see down here in the corner here. 
I did the giant fucking map, and I, I love the inland sea one because it all becomes a big race to get to the ocean. Really doesn't have anything else to do. And we take a pause again. So it's a race to the sea to get the better resources. That's what I really enjoy from this map. And so I got a a bunch of people, the the the, the other civilizations that I enjoy playing with the most on this huge map and now I uh, am just Ah <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> We're going full Xbox Live, are we? Oh, boy. <laughs> Get some planes going here. Get some planes going. Uh, jet bomber. Yeah. I never played a Halo campaign, but I always was on the online for a long time. Did LAN parties for... Uh... I'm not normal. You have 600 accounts to harass one tranny? Are you really going to say I'm the one that's not normal? You fucking loser. Ah, oh, thank you, Alvaro. I appreciate that. I just, aw. Thank you, Alvaro. <laughs> oh, man. Dumbass says he has 600 alternative accounts. He's going to use them to harass one fucking transgendered person. And he says, I'm not normal. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> and then right after that, someone is paying me to play a video game. Because they are just wanting to support me. Yeah, but I'm the one who should feel bad. <laughs> Let me make sure to add you to the uh, list so that you can get on the shout outs. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. And then make a note to add you to the end slate. Do you want to be listed as Alvaro or Alvaro Osorio? Or Alvaro E? 
How would you like to be listed? Just let me know. <laughs> Small dick energy. Nice. Started the old Trine system before getting an Atari Master System, NES, SNES, PlayStation, N64, PS2, finally go emulator. Yeah. Oh, man. I I got uh, just Alvaro. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. And then you will be red because you're a uh, YouTube member. All right. When I do, um, <laughs> Gandalf, what happened to you? Yeah, I don't remember Gandalf being a fucking uh, transphobe. I often to use female toilets and scare little girls. God, you are just, uh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Gandalf was played by a gay guy and a very strong trans activist. Uh, Fucking hell. Gone from ignoring this to just being amused by the desperateness. Um, when I go to decide who gets the shout out at the beginning of a video, I do a random number generator. Everyone has a number assigned to them. And then it's between 1 and 25 right now. And so that's how it's decided. So that will be... Um, Time out again. Um, and then, uh, do, do, do. and then everyone's just on the end slate all together. <sighs> really wish the music would keep playing the entire time so it wasn't just constantly in and out. But that's just a system limitation. I just have a not good enough setup for that. I guess it wasn't anticipating me having to come back and swat down toddlers. Mental toddlers, not literal toddlers. With Builder again. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> did it do do? There was a way to like get multiple food markets, but I can only buy one food market, which is stupid. Because I keep like getting to six people and then not having enough food for them. And I can't get another thing to have a food place. Yeah, that would be an insult to literal toddlers. <laughs> Yeah, I can't... It's ridiculous. I can't get anything to fix this situation. My name is legally Vivian, actually. You, uh... I know your name ain't Duke Nukem 3D, you fucking moron. All right. Let's get you out of here again. All right. Yeah, I love Civ. Have a good one, one-man cast. I've been glad to see you here. Have a good one. Uh, that's some lame reference I don't understand. <laughs> I'm laughing at Samuel Wright, not not fucking Nuke Dukem. Oh, I can't build a oh. It's cause I already fucking am building something there. Duh. Uh, I'm gonna have too many fucking builders. Oh, can't have too much gold. Let's do a commercial hub investment. Oh, 
More planes. I want more planes. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plane. Does that give housing? Yeah, okay. It's a history buff. Have you ever heard of the Fate series by Nasu? No. I am unfamiliar. <laughs> it sounds vaguely familiar, but I I would not know anything about it, unfortunately. If if you if you would put it again at me and said do it and tell me I, I would not know. 360. <laughs> um, fucking build her again. Too many builders. Not enough to build. Uh, oh, you need more housing. Okay. Oh, no. You need uh, industry. Industry again. Um, I go with the builder again. Do, 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 do. Okay. No, another plane. Another plane, another train. Yeah, I'm not going to be fooled by that. Thomas Edison is a character who, who in the mobile game, fused with all he, the U.S. presidents and the, the movie Lion. He's basically a living fursuiter. What the fuck? 411 in the U.K. Uh, all right. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Hold up. Whoop. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, Soul Taker. The Soul Taker. Digging holes and taking souls. <laughs> yeah, you're the one with the cool uh, Undertaker uh, avatar. That was so cool. AC versus DC. Do, 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 build her. <laughs> Zero to Hiroki! Hey! Got a couple people who did questions for the round table. Soul Taker and Zero to Hiroki. Ah, oh, that was so cool. Oh, it's so cool to have you all here. 
Welcome, welcome. You will rest in peace. Um, there we go. And uh, military academy. Ah, builder. Just in time. Ah, you just got done watching the latest episode of Arches. I hope you enjoyed it, or at least weren't permanently scarred from it. Today's episode was the one where... Oh, today was uh, touching moments, wasn't it? Ah, jeez. God, that one really... That one screwed me up, man. Halfway through the first part, yeah. Oh, nice. For the record, I'm also on the voice chat in my Discord channel. So if anyone is uh, there... Probably shouldn't have said that while there's a troll in the chat, but there you go. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Hope that doesn't go anywhere. Ooh, I got five envoys to spend. Did I screw that up somehow? No, I did it right. Good. Yes, Flynn to the rescue. That was... I cried. Boy, how I cried. The Discord server link is in the description, I believe. Oh, yeah. Arches is an anxiety machine. Yeah, please do like the stream if you want to. I'm sure it's already got plenty of dislikes. I can't actually see if it has any dislikes. Uh, I'll I'll look. Uh, with all these alt accounts, I'm sure it's gotten plenty. Eventually, oh. oh, they didn't do that. Well, at least some, some decency. Well, I shouldn't say that. go why is it not working something seems to be amiss my YouTube live page is not working correctly oh there we go that's better Yeah, I had to go all the way back to my uh, my uh, dashboard to to check, but I did, and it is okay. I 
All right. Now back to the game. The thing I'm trying to do. Um, let's send you there. Will you be my friend, Sweden? Oh, Sweden does not want to be my friend. Oh. It's because I have the power to nuke the world, and nobody wants to be friends with someone who plans on nuking the world. Well, I don't blame them, because I plan on nuking the world. <laughs> and that would include them. Well, they could just comply. Ooh, n nice... Scary sting on the music there. <clears throat> yes, currently at zero. But uh, now that we've pointed it out, I don't imagine it'll be that way for long. And I don't plan on checking again, just because the act of monitoring something makes it change. Russia might disagree with you there. <sighs> yes, Russia and Putin are not synonymous words. Isn't it the opposite because they watched Kettle Neville Boils? Well, in, no, because water that is being heated up should boil. Therefore, the change is from the norm, which is it not boiling. Let's see what happens on the next toyne. Extracurricular activities is the best. I'm glad you enjoy it. I don't think it's the best, but I'm glad you enjoy it. Uh, let's see. You want to give me money and have the ability to go through my borders for aluminum. Sure. Or aluminium for our cross-the-seas friends. Well, fine. I want a poop in borders as well. Sure. Sure. Wait. That's what I'm giving you. Now, screw that. Speaking of EA... You're going to hop back on Darius' right anytime soon? Well, yes, as I mentioned in part two of the narrator roundtable, I have recorded the next day of uh, Darius's route, and it will be coming out um, after I have uh, completed the Arches update, which is soon. Um, and are, am I enjoying the direction Burroughs has been going? Yes! 
Um, in my opinion, Burroughs has all the tools to become the very best of furry visual novel. Um, it's still very early to call. Um, Temptation's Ballad is very up there. Glory Hounds just started, but my God, it very well could be. Um, and yeah, Alvaro pointing it out. Uh, it could just be recency bias for the other their visual novels. Recency bias is a very hard one to overlook. So, hmm. Oh yes, the future does come soon enough. Well, the hero route day one actually came out for patrons, so it will, it'll be coming soon. Snake Stone ninety seven. Any plans to continue Kingsguard? You've been playing it yourself. You really enjoy it. I do want to continue it. I do. I just have so many other things. It's so hard to get to when there's so many things on my plate. Lord knows I'm used to a lot of things on my plate. I'm fucking fat fuck myself. All right. I have a plane on my hands. Where can I put it? Where, oh, where can I put this plane? Right there. I wonder what Heroes Round will be like. God, I wonder what it will be. I am so curious. I wonder. I wonder. Um. Ooh, a ski resort. That should be fun. What next? What next? Um, not a district. Commercial up. Shit. There we go. Plane again. Goddamn plane again. Boise! You stay right there, sunshine. No, don't go to sleep. No, no, no. Wake up and just skip the next turn. Um. Oh, where the fuck are you going? Who's Hungary at war with? They're going to be at war with me soon, but how soon is that? Jesus, the next turn. Holy God. Kingsguard is good, but it updates very slowly. It's definitely good. though. That's good for me because it's very hard for me to keep up with all these games that update once a month. Because it feels like every time a game updates, by the next time a fucking once I'm finally done with something, then everything updates again, and it, like, I'm never fucking done with anything. Oh, God, okay. Who are you at war with? Uh, Poland and uh, Scythia. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Okay, skip that. Mm, all right, well... If you're there, then you can go there and wait. Kingsguard feels like every six months it updates. Well, it can't be that. Well, it can be that bad, actually. If, hey, you know, game looks very complicated. It's not that complicated. It, it, there's a lot here but once you know what it is it's it's really not complicated there's just bits and pieces if i can get a hang on it it's not that complicated if if a game is too complicated i can't fucking do it i'm 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 fucking i am stupid you know i'm Jesus, look at these fucking submarines.
skip, skip, skip. You think I got enough subs to take on this one ship? Maybe. I might need more. Another farm. More farms. I need more farms. Who's your favorite furry visual novel character of all time? Well, when we answered it in the uh, in the podcast, I said Coach Grifter, and I haven't thought about it since, so I'm just going to say that for now, but I'm not sure about it. I I need to sit down and really ponder that one. RTF is one of your favorite at the moment. I think it's below Burroughs, but every update, the writing and characterization keeps improving. RTF. Remember the flowers. Okay, I, I had to think. I was like, what the, f- what the fuck is an RTF? Okay. Let's, let's send you to Stonewall. Um... Where do I need another builder? Of where, of where will it go? Oh, I need to fix my pasture. Ghosty spectral. About ghosty specty? Let's say specty. Oh, specty. The man, the mask. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of glad that uh, Chester's route is over, for not just that reason, but for a number of reasons. You know, I just realized I never tweeted that I was streaming. Oh my. Oh, she's back. Who's back? Tonight's Monday Night Raw. Yeah, I just gotta think. Who's back? Look who just returned on Raw to take out Bailey. Well, who? Who is it? Don't play audio. I don't want to get copyright. Who is it? Oh, it's Nikki Cross. Instead of Nikki A.S.H., it's Nikki Cross. Okay. Cool. I'm going to miss Nikki A.S.H. But all right. That's cool. Uh, what was I going to look up? I was going to look up something. Oh, I was going to tweet the fact that I'm streaming. Um. There we go. I guess I should also be able to give a definitive favorite recency bias. Yeah. I guess I should also tweet the Twitch link. Sorry I'm doing this on stream. 
I'm tw I'm I'm tweeting myself out on stream. This is so compelling content. Don't don't play my own content on the. Come on, come on out. No, stop. Jesus Christ. Uh, there we go. Copy link. All right. Now can we stop now? I've finally been left alone by the troll and now I'm spending all my time tweeting. Four thirty two, now four thirty four in the UK. Due to the fact that you haven't read a lot of the VN, Coach Grifter Trout and EA was the only one you saw all the way through recently. You've been watching playthroughs of Dream Daddy. <clears throat> Well, that's a dating sim. That's not a VN, but I I see what you mean. Builder, builder on a wall. Where was I gonna go with that? Oh, I've got what are these seals? Seals! I need seals. I need to protect the seals. Good night, Wild. It's been a pleasure. Let's make a trade route. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's send you to Arma. You can make a farm there, make a farm there, make a farm here, make a farm there. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you need a wind farm. A wind farm. Get rid of that. Ooh, this fort is unnecessary. Farm. Get rid of that. From Newport to Milwaukee? Nah. Uh, to Miller? No. Bushong, no. Um, let's send one to Hannibal. Hannibal. No, damn it. Fine. What? No. Damn it. I want to say that voice. Actually, to me now. So bye. <laughs> Favorite games to play outside of ENs? Well, uh, as a genre or just in general? Um, my favorite games to play. I mean, I play this a lot. Uh, I gen in, general, in, gen in general, I enjoy this. Uh, my favorite game of all time is Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Um,. And, uh, I don't know. Um, I tr I'm going to try to show more of those on the channel going forward. That is my goal.
honestly, I don't really play furry visual novels outside of my channel. I always save them up for the channel because I want to have my reactions be genuine and and for the first time. Have I ever heard of Pathos? No, I haven't. If Thousand Year Door came out in the mid 2000s. Newport to Somerset. <clears throat> Come to think of it, I think I also came out in the mid-2000s. I was born in 1995, but... <laughs> the first of many comings out. Oh, yeah. Ooh, must repair the stock exchange. Oh no, what should you do without it? Ooh, granary, Jesus. You're okay, so the Mayan Empire is where the fuck is the Mayan Empire? Dungeon crawlers is a bit like having a rough GM. It's in a 3D based Alright. Where are you, my Oh, you're way the hell over there? Okay, so I'm not gonna get to you for a while, so if Want to be my friend? Uh oh, you don't want me my friend. How about you, Sparta? Oh, almost two thousand grievances. I got a feeling they're not gonna want to be our friend. Sparta. Oh, so you're, you're Greece actually, but um, nope. Okay, everyone hates us. Lovely. Well, let's see how this goes. Honestly, Vivian has given me more to think about what makes a character good and contextualizing their actions in a story. I used to think about Leo. I used to be a Leo stan from Echo, but here. He points out arguments over time and made me concede he really isn't all that uh, the community or that he made out to me. Well, thank you for saying so. Because 
And it's been a long time that I've been sitting here feeling like I've been screaming into a void and feeling like I was the insane one. Oh, three turns. Well, I still need to repair shit, so I mean, by the time you'd get here. But, um, yeah, the, the, the community has gassed up Leo way more than he fucking deserved to be. Um, but I, I appreciate, I appreciate you saying that. Not even just about Leo, but just in general, the, uh, the, all, the, the statement about my arguments. Your Majesty, nice. Yeah, but, not gonna lie, when you said Leo Stand instead of Leo Stan, um, I was imagining like JoJo, like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but you Stand is fucking Leo. <laughs> I was just like, oh man, that'd be. That'd be a weird stand. Ah. We've been denounced. Hello, Patchworks. Thank you. We are on the verge of the world attacking us. And that's just the game, I promise. I'm just saying. <laughs> Big dust cloud. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. Oh my. <laughs> all right, okay, fine, fine. That's good, that's fine, that's good, that's all right. That's, it, 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 it makes no fucking sense, whatever. Oh no. Why are you still? My friend, no, you were supposed to be done by now. Good Lord, this is not good. Well, we are rightly fucked, aren't we? least a little. See, the thing is, as you can see, the, the Korean block here, I need to get through that, and they've got more death machines than... Well, I can't see if... Zulu's got any in here 
or if there's any hiding anywhere. But all my death machines are pretty much waiting to squash Korea as fast as possible and then move over to Zulu, but it's uh, not good. Okay. So I'm going to split some off. I need some firepower over here. Definitely don't need this many right here. You, you'll be fine. Well, actually, there's a lot of cities right here. No, I need all of you here. You up here. This cluster is too much. Hitting the risk phase. Yeah. I am undefeated at risk. I have played it twice and won twice. Not a very impressive risk record, but it is a 100% win, win record, you know. Problem is, planes are no good against death machines. But they are good at whittling down cities. So if I'm trying to whittle down these cities, and if you don't mind, these cities don't have the greatest defense in the first place. Especially this one, which is dead. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. <clears throat> Oh boy. Oh, do I need rocks? I need plenty of rocks. Uh, which city owns this? Uh, Naperville. Um, oh, you need that. Okay, fine. Um, how soon can you get up there? Ah, about the time you get up there, it wouldn't be worth it. Fine. Planes, be ready. Alvaro, gonna say good night. Got to sleep for school tomorrow. It's rare for you to catch a stream. But glad you stayed up. Ah, thank you. I'm glad you were here too. Have fun at school tomorrow. Preparing for war again. Here we go. Well, have a good night, your mom.
Send some of these ships over here to back up the, these guys. Because I really only need, what, two, three of these. Take out this one. My favorite type of blade? Uh, oh man, why is it? like this um I like these kind where they're all curved or whatever preferably with a weight at the end of it so it provides a a deep slash and a heavy chop at the same time um I can't remember the name of it at this particular moment but uh I don't know. They were just really, really good at uh, hacking through stuff. Either that or the easy answer for that is, what's your favorite kind of blade? A hidden one. to Selma. Here we go. Ferment some unrest there. Operate. Mike, they are gone. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing all right. My throat's starting to hurt, so I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming, but otherwise I'm doing okay. How are you doing? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. More planes. There's always more planes. You're doing well. Just came back from watching. Oh, <laughs> another person that just finished watching the Arches video. Nice. I'm glad you uh, got to see it. I hope you enjoyed it and weren't too uh, bothered by it. <laughs> Kansas City to Kansas City to Anaheim, California. There we go. Well, I guess that's all for my units. Let's do production. Oh, gotta fix that zoo. Oh, what's this? Ah, that jet bomber. And you saw it too? Ooh, and those scary eyes. Oh. You gotta get some more food in you. Um, I don't know how a... Uh, a... <laughs> how a uh, gunpowder factory is providing food, but I'm glad that you're getting some food in you. 
Jet Bomber. Um, let's get you an Aerodome. Hate for you to lose your maze. But I need planes. I need my planes. <sighs> more builders. Always more builders. The stock exchange. The stock exchange. I've got to build my stock exchange. Mm. Oil power. And by God, get us some more food. Uh, swap. There we go. Maybe they eat gunpowder. I wouldn't want to see that coming out the other end. Builder. Builder. Please construct more food. Prairie Village also is running out of food. Um, there we go. Use a supplement to it. Spices or salt? <laughs> that is a question I am not qualified to answer. You usually play the builds of VNs you're interested in, like TBTA or Arches. TBTA or A. Um, still watch videos on them because you like my voice acting. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh, the food is going down for you too? Okay, well, give us that. There we go. Uh, there we go. And now you can eat, you can eat gunpowder too. Uh, industry. You need industry. Uh, sorry, wind farm. Time for a good old factory. Uh, oh, jet bomber. More planes. Are we running out of aluminum? Not even close. Okay. More planes. More planes. Dine! Dine! Dine Wolf! I see Dine Wolf in the chat! Dine Wolf! Author and creator of extracurricular activities! Hi. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> that me, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's you. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I need another plane. Uh, workshop. Uh, hanger. Hey, yo, is that the Dine Wolf that made the hit furry visual novel known as Extracurricular Activities? <laughs> oh, your power's back on. I didn't know it was out. I'm sorry that that happened. Thought you'd stop by and say hi. That you could always stream it. Nice. Well, thank you for stopping by and say hi. I'm sorry that your power was out. That sounds like it sucks ass. I'm sorry. I'm glad it's back. <gasps> There's untapped aluminum in the corner. Where the hell is a builder when you need one? I have like a million of them on this fucking map. What are you? You, stop what you're doing. Come get this aluminum now. Come get it now. No. Get my aluminum now. It's my aluminum and I need it now. <coughs> Shh. 
Shouldn't have done that. It's been stormy all day, but the power was knocked out a couple of hours ago. I was getting ready to try and go to sleep early, but it came back. Oh, nice. Paula, we're forgetting the song that right away. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's it was windy up here, too. Very windy. I swear to God. Um, but yes, are you streaming somewhere else as well? Can't see those messages in the chat. Yes, I am restreaming. I am streaming on YouTube and on Twitch. It's technology. I'm also on the voice channel in my Discord channel. If anyone wants to jump on and voice chat with me. No, oh, the, the music sting. Is the music from the game too low, by the way? I haven't, uh, I haven't asked that yet. Yeah! Restream is great. Apparently, it also screws up with potential monetization. I don't know. I heard some stuff about that. I don't know nothing about being no professional streamer. I'm just a yutz in a, in a room with a Pikachu. Gunpowder, older gunpowder, pros, pros, process using kelp potash also made eligible cooking oils as a byproduct well i didn't expect to get that as an actual fucking thing that's interesting as fuck not gonna lie i can only hear you all right time to time to boost the musics i didn't expect to get that actually answered Good job, Samuel Fisher. Way to be studious. Applause. Applause for Samuel Fisher. <laughs> yeah, might as well try. Is the music better now? Hopefully it is. It should be. Oh! Someone joined. Who it is? I hear Mike de Argon. Hello! Hi! How you doing? <laughs> Glad to hear it. Well, at least now you know your microphone works. <laughs> it's remarkably similar to being in a voice call with a person, isn't it? <laughs> it's almost like we are that. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I understand that. I mean, it's not like I've never been on the other side of watching someone, but um, it's. I think it's because we're so used to um, it being like a one way thing, you know, like you're not used to them being able to to respond. You know, like like you're used to hearing them, and then if you say something, they just sort of. You know, not, but if, 
you know, it's just like a video, but it's it's not a video now. I can actually hear you. I feel that. I'm right there with you. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know at all what you're trying to do. <laughs> what is this? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, am I, uh, is like, um, the audio balancing is all kinds of screwed up here. Let me see. Um, let me see if I can turn down the, the game audio here. Let's see, whoop. Let's see if I turn down the game audio, whoop. If I could ever actually, here we go. If I turn down the game audio to about f f half and then turn up the speakers all the way up, then they should be able to hear you all the way. The music will be about the same, but then they can hear you, hopefully. You still with me? Okay. So, people in the chat, can you hear Mike DeArgon? Let me know. Aw. Dinewolf says no. Dang. What is wrong with my audio balancing? Because friggin' Streamlabs is saying that uh, Streamlabs is saying that you're this, this getting audio just right is such a pain. Yeah, no kidding. Streamlabs is saying that when you talk, you're going all the way into the red and whatever. Like, Tell me what you had for breakfast, Mike. You had waffles? Waffles with milk. Do you put anything on your waffles? Are you do you like butter on your waffles? Do you like syrup on your waffles? Very nice. But, <laughs> well, I mean, not everybody likes syrup on their waffles. And people put jelly and uh, 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 whipped cream. Some people are fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, true. I shouldn't judge if I haven't tried it. All right. So, chat. Y'all didn't hear... That bit of the conversation? Y'all didn't hear that? Y'all didn't hear my scintillating conversation about waffles with Mike de Argon? Damn, they only hear me. What is going on? Why? Why? <laughs> I just, I gotta know, why is this not working? Hmm.
See, the output device is the same. Do you prefer jelly or jam? Well, you know the difference between the two. Jelly is more of a uh, synthetic um, derived of the juice. Jam is more of the squish of the uh, fibers of the fruit. At least that is my understanding. If at any point y'all can hear Mike, I am trying various things to get uh, it to work. So please tell me if it does work. Oh, it was a blast. Honestly, I, I really did enjoy it. Um, I, I, it, it feels like those are the only other people in the world that truly understand, you know? Um, <laughs> there's just a lot of things that, um, you know, just sometimes it's just very frustrating or things just don't, um, that you feel like you're the only one who's going through it. But, uh, but then, hmm? yeah. And then all of a sudden they, someone comes along and they're like, Oh, I, I went through the exact thing. And you know, <sighs> okay. Y'all still only hear me? Damn. Why? Were you hearing the game audio? I think I might have found something. I think I might know what's going on here. Welcome back. I think I might have found the problem. The audio tracks are there. The audio tracks are. Oh, hey, Chris Green, thank you for the follow. Um, I've changed my audio tracks so that when I record, they, my, uh, my audio and my audio and from my audio, I'm sorry, let me restart again. When I record, my microphone and the game audio are recorded on separate audio tracks. Uh. And so, when I
Yeah. I just changed it. So uh, I clicked stream track one. So it included both. And Dine just said he heard someone. Now I'm going to click on that. Hello, Dine. Can you hear me? Can Dine hear the game and Mike's voice? Dine can hear. Is Mike drowned out by the game? Now I can do balancing. Yay, I can be heard. <laughs> yes. Ah, lovely, the solutions. Mike is louder, so what than, louder than, uh, the, than the game. Okay. So when you did the roundtable of visual novel uh, readers, did you, was they uh, were they also on Discord? Yeah, uh, when we did the roundtable, that's how it worked. We all got on like a Discord call. That's basically how we did. We just all got on a, a Discord group call, and uh, we just scheduled the time to do it. Right now, we're just putting some... Uh, I decided I want to put some time between parts two and part three, and then I got sick. And um, this is the first time I've recorded or done anything with my voice since. And uh, now, uh, before long, we'll probably do part three. Well, I am glad you're feeling better. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Um, see that's the thing about uh, conversations like this when you run out of conversations to talk, when you run out of topics to talk about yeah, there's just this silence yeah, I, don't know. I mean it's all good I mean we're just sort of hanging out mm -hmm. see that's the thing about uh me is that I overthink things a lot. I'm like, am I too boring? Am I being too quiet? Do I need to think about things? That's ha that's why I'm always the quiet one. I feel that. I I do that a lot myself. I'm trying to figure out how I'm coming across in the mind of whoever I'm with or talking to. The problem is, is that I have to constantly remind myself that I'm not a mind reader as much as I would at times desperately want to be so that I can try to be as considerate as possible, but also so that I can do what is the right thing at the time as possible. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's, it's hard. That actually is something I never thought of. Can't can't be the perfect person for everyone. You just have to kind of read the room. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, let's talk about uh, eating gunpowder. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I, for one of my civilizations, or for one of my cities, they needed, um, <laughs> they needed, um, <laughs> They needed food, and so uh, I I added a gunpowder uh, factory to their uh, city, and for some reason, and I just couldn't figure out why. <laughs> hey, DB Wolf, what's up? Awesome man. 
install a gunpowder factory in someone's city. Ah, well, we'll just eat this with food. Yeah. It feels weird. I'm watching the stream and tapping to you at the same time, so I'm hearing what we're currently talking about over what we just talked about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that time delay is all kinds of screwy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm waging war now. I'm, I gotta get through Korea as quick as possible because they're in a corner and I'm about to wage war on two fronts going the other way in the, in the, uh, in the U. Um, ah, oh damn, it's too far away. And so I want to get out of the corner as quick as possible so that, um, I can divert my uh, firepower going the other way. Sounds like a strategy, although I've never played the game you're playing. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> uh, they're just called Kore uh, they're just called Korean Empire in this game. DB Wolf. So, uh, do you mind if I ask you some more questions? Absolutely. Keep them coming. I love answering questions. Okay. Um, so, uh, what, do you remember what the first uh, visual novel you ever voice acted was? The first one I voice acted? Yeah, like on YouTube. Um... It would either be extracurricular activities or repeat, because Amorous is a dating sim, and also trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes. It's garbage. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it would be uh, EA or repeat, and I think EA was the first one. Speaking of uh, Amorous... Um, according to the developer, he's trying to remake the game and to make a sequel at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's, deep, That's like bottom of the barrel recycling. Oh, is someone else in here? And Leo of the Wing. Oh, hey! I didn't hear you come in. Leo of the Wing, hello! Hello. I can barely hear you of the music. I'm going to have to turn the music down again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. You're good. Well, since I was losing words, I thought I'd just come in to voice. No, you're more than welcome. Come on in. Come on in. So are you in this, this, are you in this voice channel every time you stream or just sometimes? Uh, just sometimes. I don't. Um, I don't stream near enough to have a, a standard, um, but um, sometimes I've done it in the past, but um, for the most part, I, I like the idea, but um, usually when I'm streaming, uh, I'm playing a game where I'm trying to like progress. This time, I'm just sort of chatting and hanging out, um, so on those streams, I want to sort of do this where I, I give people sort of... Uh, I want to hang out with people, you know? Yeah. Ooh, that one oh, is not going to go good. Oh, I, can't, I can't use it plain on a death machine. So they can shoot back. D 
Creepy Wolf is having fun in the chat. Not letting me go to your oldest video because I'm trying to answer. I'm trying to find out which one. Oh, well, I have videos older thing. than my visual novel content, and I have a lot of fucking videos. So sorry about your upcoming uh, endeavor here. Making your own fun, Austin. Fine. Mm. Oh, hey. Well, time to do it the old fashioned way. It's time to scroll. <laughs> Through all 100 episodes of Tennis Face, Echo, Extra Cooker Activity. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, aha! It was repeat first. Really? That Haunted camera? Question mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> Yeah, Haunted Camera. Wonderful title. <laughs> uh, did you see that uh, Shirokoi actually remade the uh, sprites and everything in the game, but not any story progression? Not any story progression, but a lot of story overhaul. Yeah. A lot of writing overhaul. I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to make any promises, but I am tempted. <laughs> to do a, uh, a big look through, almost damn near read through of, like a re-read through. I need a city. Um, I'm tempted to look, I'm tempted to look through the titles of your videos back then. All caps and shouting. <laughs> what was your first ever video? I want to find that out. Well, my first ever video isn't even on YouTube anymore. Hell, my first ever video wasn't even on YouTube. It predated YouTube. Um, I need a name of a U.S. city. Can you uh, name one? A U.S. city. Um, California. That is a state. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> Rattleboro. Rattleboro? Yep. Can you spell that for me? I already did Milwaukee, but thank you, Austin. Where are you where are you typing this in the chat? I was double checking the spelling myself. Oh okay. Dyslexia is a wonderful thing. Yeah. I have good old ADHD myself, so I can kind of relate. Battleboro? No, oh, that's well. Brattleboro? Oh, it's just Rattleboro? That's also, that's also a city, but not the one I was originally thinking of. <laughs> so I just discovered something new by accident. Brattleboro? Like with, with the B? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll go with it. Brattleboro. Nice. Oh, God. I, I'm scrolling all the way down. I'm finding that... It's not letting me scroll any further. I'm stopped on psychological pain. Winds of change, number one. Oh, man. That's a... That's a series that could come back at any moment. Oh, it's not... Really, it's not letting me scroll back down at all, so I guess this is where I'm stuck. <laughs> Come 
coming to me, Jesus. <laughs> There's an odd sideways thought. Um, I, I know a few different artists are experimenting with like the computer assisted drawing programs. And I was yeah. just thinking, how might you feel if somebody was using computer assisted drawing programs to make the ends? I mean, would it have to be really well done still with the drawing program? Or how much could it slide to like the CGI before it's a problem. Hey, I've seen completely computer generated. Uh, well, not completely computer generated. I mean, it's like, um, like three D models or. I think, you know, whatever kind of art you generate, that's still art. You know, just different tools to make it it's still art. You know, so, uh, you know, if you make completely computer generated art and use that in a visual novel that's still fine hell if you had a a if you had a an uh, a, a a an ai do the script and a cg make all the art and put that out as a visual novel i guarantee you that would probably be a hit if you market it as that i'd probably read it Oh yeah, if you're up front about it. If you try to sneak it in that it wasn't, people would definitely notice the, the AI writing at a point. Yeah. Oh god, that just makes me remember the AI generated stories that I'd watch on YouTube. Those ones that are not, uh, that get political and all that. Dungeon AI writing about the news. That was some of the funniest stuff I've seen for people to do. <laughs> Yep. Hmm. So, fun fact, I actually didn't know that furry visual novels existed until I watched one of Vivian's videos on him. Oh, nice! I didn't know they existed until I started doing videos on them myself either. <laughs> I, think I didn't know I... they had gotten as good. I remember stumbling across some of the like scripts, and I was like, "Oh, this is terrible fanfic. Is that all it's gonna be?" And then I saw someone just play one, and I was like, "Okay, now I'm watching and like hunting some down." Yeah, there's definitely been I... some improvements over the years. Oh, I would. Definitely say so. Hayseed Knight being fully voice acted, that's amazing. Oh yeah. That is that is an industry shift. I think the visual novel I first um watched from Vivian was Echo. And oh boy, that was an introduction <laughs> and a half. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The integration of 2D Unity and then Rempy has definitely kicked up the being made, yes. Yeah. I mean, there, there's just been, uh... Whoa! There we go. Now we'll use Austin's suggestion of Green Bay. There have been a lot no. of technological advances. I, for, I really, I know it's understated, but I think the shift from 4x3 to 16x9 was a huge shift. Snakesnow97 mentions in the chat, Major Minor was their first video. That was the first vision novel I saw in 16x9 aspect ratio. 
and that to me was I mean there were so many small details sound effects on the menu and just like a lot of small details that made it seem like a big deal and when you look at it now it has a lot of things missing that come standard with a lot of visual novels now seemingly but back then it felt like a big fucking deal back then you know um I don't know it's just there's it's a there's a lot you know I don't know how to put it but major minor at the time seemed like a a can't miss visual novel I've actually never seen or watched major minor so uh, I'll have to definitely check that out at some point well I mean the time where it would seem as impressive as it would seem at the time is past now it it's definitely dated, um, but I'd still say it's worth looking at, but uh, I wouldn't heap the praise with the vim and vigor that I would at the time. But I'm not going to stop. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. Let's see, more questions. Um, hmm. Has there ever, has there been another visual novel that has, uh, ah, what's the term for it? What's the term I'm looking for? Um, I, dang it, I lost it. <laughs> it's okay. I'll try to put it this way. Has there ever been a visual novel that has been as psychologically messy with your mind as Echo? Um, as much as Echo... That's a tall order. And <laughs> to... To simply include other Echoverse games, that would be, you know, I feel like kind of cheating. Um, because if you would just say Arches and, uh... The smoke Room. The smoke Room, and even, you know, Adastra to a degree, there was a time where certain parts of Adastra really just got my, my mind just buzzing in a way that other things hadn't in a while. Now, that faded really fast for me, but uh, there was a time where I was the most excited for a Daster that I had been for any other fucking visual. Um, but I would say as far as far as uh, um, I think the closest sense Echo has been um, either that or uh, Blackgate um, because those two especially Burroughs has just had moments where he, I just keep fucking thinking about it. And that to me is what good horror does. It horror a truly horrifying thing doesn't just boo scary ah, and then move you move <laughs> on. True horror stays with you. And you think about it. And and it and it festers in your fucking brain and it, it makes you think think about it and the more you think about it the more the more it gets you as it sinks deeper into your fucking psyche like a like a like a drill just getting deeper and deeper and doing more damage as it gets deeper in there you know that that's that to me is what good horror does 
So right. That to me is what stuff like uh, Jenna as a child opening the door for the light socket monster. That CG. That is what that did for me. That's that was a horrifying image. That's what that did for me. That's what. Um, Uh, Ken just absolutely maiming those punk bikers outside of that diner in his route in Burroughs. That's what that did for me. That's what horror does for me. And so that's why I say that Burroughs has the potential to be the successor and possibly supersede Echo, in terms of the true horror uh, visual novel in the sphere. Yeah. It's almost like a curse that needs to stick with you and really make you realize, oh, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. See, for me, the scenes in Echo that really stuck with me was, I believe one time I was watching it at, watching you voice act Echo at work on my lunch break and I was part way through Leo's route and I was the part where they were in the trailer and just the the way they describe what Brian's just doing to Chase it just made me lose my appetite yep there are a lot of moments in Echo that absolutely haunt to this day Leo's bad ending yep, continues yep. to fuck with me. When I hear... Because I live uh, uh, only a handful of streets away from a train track that doesn't have a, uh, a train uh, whistle on it. So it just comes, just like the train did in Echo. It just rolls through. Oh. And so I whenever I'm sitting here alone at night and I just hear it start coming through sometimes I just think about how fucked up Leo had to be mentally and and, and, and his soul had to be in it like his soul had to be his soul had to be you know just how literally departed from consciousness he had to be to do what he did and to to and to keep Chase in that condition in his bed until Chase literally bled to death and the way Chase came to consciousness one more time and had that be his last moment of memory. Mm, yeah. The, the bad ending really get. I... For me, I... 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 It's a question of sort of the demented would I rather have it be destroyed than lose it? Which is never a good way to think about something. But I highly doubt that's what Leah was thinking. Well, I, of course uh, not. Somebody in that mindset, that's not what they're thinking at all. They're thinking, I've got to have this person stay with me no matter what. They're the best thing they're having. They're not thinking about the damage they're doing. Well, well, that's completely obvious, considering he wrapped Chase's bleeding legs in towel. So I, I just... <sighs> you know, I, I have think... to say, oh. I'm glad that ending didn't stick with me, because I loved hearing the sound of the train roll by, and that would just destroy it for me. Yeah. I think, personally, the end, the ending of Echo that stuck with me the most had to be TJ's. 
Yeah. It's just that it's a repeat of the past. It's like Chase, the description of him drowning Flynn, and then him and TJ both just silently agreeing to never tell anyone, just like, just like in the past. It's, there are so many moments where, I mean, hell, think of Carl's ending. All the fucking nightmarish reality warped fuckery that he went through. And then... What the... College? What? <laughs> it just goes back to college, but nothing ever happens. Yeah, like, what kind of life are you supposed to pretend you can have after that? Like... Oh. Um. I don't think that they forgot. No! They, trying to... of, course it, of course they can't forget that. I think they're just trying to put it past them. I know. I just... What I meant is... I... Uh, I'm, what I mean is I'm... Just referring to... The absolute state of things where you've reached such a breaking point in reality that you cannot handle that you revert to a state of simply not facing it. And almost every instance they do that. Because how could you? How could you possibly wrap your mind Right, so you're so if um if I'm understanding it more clearly, they're just trying to push it away instead of just Ah, okay. So they're just trying to push it away instead of dealing with it. Because I mean, how can you? What what sense of rationale can you apply to any of the things that they went through? I mean, there's a lot of different things forms of rationale that they deal with there. There's uh, TJ's religiousness. There's um, Jenna's harsh psychological um, brute, uh, uh, just firm psychological uh, 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 science there. There's uh, Chase's aversion to what had happened in the past. There's Flynn's strict trying to face the past. There's Leo's um, trying to rekindle the past to try to avoid what the present is. And then there's Carl trying to avoid the Drug present. Drug into non-existence as well. Yeah. So all of these people have their strict trying to make something out of what it is instead of trying to actually do what is actually happening and so they face a situation where they have all the absolute worst situation in front of them there's no way in fuck that even if all these people were already well adjusted going into it that they could have handled it in the first place they were already fucked up before, and then after going into it, it's like how in Arches, Dev and Cam were already fighting a bit going into it. It's it's like the Echo Monster, the curse is just amplifying problems that exist already. Right. That's why it it it, it preys upon those who take stimulants and not those who do things that relieve pressure. Which is how Brian came to be a homicidal maniac. Yeah. Because he was always doing ups, which made him go up and up and up and up and boom. The only time he ever well, got I mean... break was when he literally passed the fuck out. Hmm. 
I mean, on a chemical standpoint, if you do enough uppers, you're going to crash anyway. I know, but the fact that he would literally go on for for days of high-intensity physical activity at his age, weight, and physical uh, uh, state... The whole point is, um, and he was uh, affected by the echo thing practically his whole I, life. I believe it's called the hum, but I'm not sure. The hum, sure. He was affected by the hum practically his whole life. Oh, there we go. There's a town called Echo. It's literally called Echo. I just put it right yeah, there in Dallas. <laughs> I remember you. I remember you saying that you visited Echo. Actually, no, I didn't. I you know didn't? way better than that. I I did a a Google Street View tour. I did oh, Street no. View? That's as close as I'm getting, because I know it's not the real place. I know it's a fictional town. I know the real place is not the same as the but. But I'm not. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I still I like think that almost every town and city in the United States has an Elm Street. Wait, really? Yep. Oh yeah, it's a very common street name. Hmm. That's why it was picked for that franchise. Nightmare on Elm Street. Hmm. So yeah in burrows the the scene that stuck with me currently it's still in development so who knows there might be more scenes that mess with us but the current scene that messed with me was was it is it mark the wolf yeah uh mark's uh happy new year scene that uh oh yeah oh yeah terrifying i agree Yeah. Have you played his extra day? Or extra mm. thing? Uh, no, but I'm going to soon. I played it and uh, I recorded it and it is. <laughs> oh, um, it's him back oh no. In college. I mean, honestly, it depends if it's like. If it's a visual novel that doesn't really catch, like, all of my attention, I'll watch you play it, because I still like it. It's just, I'm either too lazy to download it or something else, something else along those lines. I still like the visual novels that you read. Just, you know. I get you. Like, I want to talk about the visual novel in the comments of the YouTube section, but I have to keep it re relative to what was currently happening in the video, because I can't just go into a rant about how something ended when the video was just currently in the middle of the route. Or... Yeah. With my episodic nature and all that other stuff, yeah. I understand that. Well, Viv, I do like that you keep it close to that half hour, 40 minute mark. A lot of them, because there were some people that was like, oh, an update came out and they'll do like a two hour video, a three hour video. It's like, oh, it's so hard to get through all that. Yeah. I, I have asked my audience in the past to see if they would prefer I do um, longer or shorter and I've said multiple times that they want it uh, with the with the shorter run time, and it, that helps me uh, keep things uh, rolling, and it's easier for me to edit. So, and I prefer it that way too. So it, it helps me feel like I'm doing the right thing when it uh, happens to also be what I prefer to do. <laughs> so I'm glad all that works out. <laughs> glad you enjoy the thing that I am preferring to do in the first place. 
Yeah, I like the shorter videos as well because I do not have a good attention span. It's part of me, but shorter videos I can pay attention to. If a video is like two, like an hour and a half, two hours or more, I'm like, okay, there's a shorter video I could be watching. Yeah, I feel that. That's that's why I I rarely listen to full podcasts, but if a podcast has like a clips version, then I'll be like, yes, there we go. Yep. That's why I try to do um, clips. Um, I'm gonna. I'm. I've been thinking about trying to go back to my old podcast episodes and putting out clip versions. Um, so if I ever have a a a, 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 a stint where uh, I can't record, I'll just. Uh, do that. Um. So let's cycle all the way back. Since you asked me what I had for breakfast, what did you have for breakfast? <laughs> um. Have I eaten today? I did. Okay, I ate. Uh, Brie made this uh, macaroni and brats. Macaroni and cheese with brats. Oh, that sounds delicious. It was delicious. And I, uh, I wanted to have seconds, but I didn't because I am trying to mitigate my eating impulses to lose weight. So that's all I've eaten today. Like um, weigh in on this. It's too embarrassing. Pardon? I got up and had literally a chocolate kiss and then took my medicine, headed out, bought a chocolate chip cookie, and that is, was my start of my day. That was my breakfast. It's all right, man. Yesterday I ate half a cake for breakfast. My diet isn't going well. Uh, so, don't feel... <laughs> You're good. <laughs> See, I'm the opposite of you two. I can't have sweets first thing in the morning. My stomach's like, no, real food, then sweets. Fair if enough. I try to have, if I try to have sweets first, I don't get like a stomach ache. It's just my stomach is yelling at me. Sometimes I get a little bit of nausea if I eat uh, non-substitutive foods too early. Uh, so, what video games do you guys like to play in your spare time? This is my primary game that I play in the spare time. I also have a mobile game on my phone, which is basically Bejeweled, but with wrestlers. What about you, Leo? Yeah, I, I, I fall into the match three games at times, but um, Splunky seems to take up some of my time, and like I said, Pathos LG, that just devours my time at times. Cool. I have not heard of either of those games. Uh, let's see. I am a multi-platform gamer, so I have a hard time choosing which game I will indulge myself in at any given time. Let's see. The game I've been playing most recently is the new... Well, not really new. It came out like last year. But it was a, a WWE 2K22. And then when I'm bored of that, I usually move on to um, Skyrim. And then State of Decay 2. Very short attention span, so I'm, I switch between games frequently. <laughs> Very nice. We're wrestling. 
Yeah, I was a big wrestling fan when I was younger, and then it sort of stagnated. Stopped watching wrestling for like a few months, and now I'm starting to pick up on, put back on it again. Nice. Good night, Snake Stone ninety seven. So, Good night. You. What made you come back? Uh, WWE two K twenty two. I started playing the game and I was like, you know what? This is actually pretty cool. I like the... See, my favorite part of watching WWE when I was a child was everyone doing all the cool flips and acrobatics. Stuff I couldn't do, so I was very much intrigued about all the stuff that they could do. But then, my personal opinion is that the storylines got a bit predictable and all that stuff, so I stagnated off of it. Fair enough. And then I got back into it when I started playing 2K22, and now I'm hoping that Triple H um, can uh, do a good job like Vince McMahon. Cool. You know, I don't hear many people very often refer to uh, Vince McMahon as having done a good job anymore. So, I mean, that's... <laughs> I mean, he, he has, he's had his moment. <clears throat> yeah, broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> um, but, yeah... Now, back in the day, my favorite wrestler was Roman Reigns before he became the Tribal Chief. Yeah, he needed the heel turn. Well, he didn't need it, but he's slaying it. But 